Hi kids, my name is Salome, and you were probably expecting a story from my mother, Herodias, weren't you? But you know what? I've decided to tell you her story myself, because between you and me, I don't like how proud she is of herself for killing a prophet. As for me, let me introduce myself. I am a princess, daughter of Herodias and Herod Philip, and great-granddaughter of King Herod the Great. Yeah, he was the king who tried to kill Jesus when Jesus was a baby. And my stepfather, Herod Antipas, he was the one who killed the prophet John. I know, so many Herods in one family is probably pretty confusing to you. Coming from such a powerful royal family, I should be one of the happiest girls in the whole Roman Empire. But I'm not. You know, it's so strange. I have everything I want. I live in a nice palace. It's really beautiful. I've got amazing clothes. They are literally the most expensive ones. And hey, I even take dancing lessons. <sighs> but you know what? I also did something terrible. And though my name means peace, my life has not had any peace since my stepdad's last birthday party. I think my mom is to blame for that. But to be honest, Maybe I should also blame myself. Let me explain. Hopefully you'll understand. First of all, my stepdad is actually my uncle because he's my dad's brother and my mom is their niece. Royal families have some pretty strange ways of keeping the power within the family. You probably think that's complicated and listen to how this happened. Well, it turns out because Uncle Herod fell in love with my mom, my parents got divorced, and now mom and I live with my uncle in his palace. He might be the ruler of Galilee, but honestly, guess who's in charge? I'm pretty sure it's my mom. After my mom and Uncle Herod and Tippus got married, things went from bad to worse. A preacher named John the Baptist, he kept telling Uncle Herod that God would never honor their marriage because they had both divorced their spouses in order to marry each other. God designed marriage to be for life. In fact, marriage represents God's love for his church. It is something sacred, and that is why God does not approve of divorce. And it was hard on me, too. Yeah. Many people choose divorce just because it seems like an easy option to solve their problems, like in my family, but they forget that marriage helps us build character. We learn how to make our spouse happy by thinking of them more than ourselves, not what we want. And so we become less selfish and instead of being more proud, you know. The funny thing is, Uncle Herod seemed to have a lot of respect for John, so that's really confusing. But my mom, she hated him because he kept saying that what she had done was wrong, like so wrong. I never realized just how much she hated him until my Uncle Herod threw himself a massive birthday party. Yeah, he was the king, so you can imagine what kind of party that was. Where we live, women don't usually go to parties with men. So when my mom sent me to dance at the party as a gift for Uncle Herod, all of his friends were excited. I wore a sparkly dress that showed off all of my curves and I danced my very best that night. But I noticed the negative effect that my dancing had on the men at the party. Everyone liked it, especially Uncle Herod. He even stood up in front of all of his powerful friends and guests and he promised that as a reward for my amazing dancing, he called it the best dancing he'd ever seen, I could get whatever I wanted. And honestly, I was so excited because all the attention was on me at that moment. I felt so special. I don't even know why, but I didn't know what to say at that moment. So yeah, I ran back to my mom and when I asked her what I should ask for, do you know what she told me? She told me to say that I should want the head of the prophet John. What? Ew, I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to do that, but I also wasn't strong enough to say no to her. I obeyed her and told Herod the terrible request, something I should have never done. Everyone at the party was drunk and they could not think straight. No one said anything on behalf of John to save him. Uncle Herod looked so nervous, but he had made a promise. 
Finally, he just ended up giving the order. And within a short time, the head of John the Baptist was brought back on a platter. And let me tell you, my mom, she was delighted. I still can't imagine how. Uncle Herod, he was so scared. And I was really, really miserable. I wanted to just cry or maybe just disappear. I couldn't get that terrible sight out of my head. A head on a plate, can you imagine? You know, my mom's name is Herodias, and it means fighter. God's people have always had someone who fights against them, but God has always protected them, given them peace. The Bible prophecy mentions three Elijahs. Queen Jezebel tried to kill the first one. John the Baptist was the second, and my mother managed to kill him. But in the last days, the reformers will be the third Elijah. Babylon, represented by a woman riding on a beast with seven heads, will try to kill these faithful believers of God. These three women use the government to get what they want, just like my mom. She used the government to get what she wanted. And they're going to do this to destroy those who think differently and are faithful to God. When Jesus heard what had happened to his cousin, he went away. He left to spend some time in the desert. And when death threats start coming in the future, those who believe in God should also find safety in the wilderness. But I have heard that no one, not even my mom, or Queen Jezebel, or even spiritual Babylon, can totally destroy God's people. Yeah, they can kill some, like in the case of John the Baptist, but they can never take away their eternal reward. Please, don't ever make the same mistake that I did. I felt awful. Don't ever be influenced by others when they tell you to do wrong. Stay true to God and stand firm in your beliefs, okay? That is going to help you. Bye, kids!